Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Keynote to create choose your own adventure stories. I made a video about doing this in Google Slides last week and someone asked me if I can do it in Keynote and you certainly can. So it follows the same format. Go ahead and create your slides. And I've only put in a few here just for the sake of brevity. And here's the beginning of my story. One morning I woke up and set out to complete a few errands. My dogs came along with me for my errands. We had to go to the bank, to the post office, then to the farmer's union to get some chicken feed. So I want to set this up so that people can click on words in the presentation, in the slides, and jump to whatever part of the story they want to read first. So I'm going to highlight the bank. And now I'm going to go up to my menu at the top here and we're going to select format add link and choose slide and now we're going to go to the slide that is slide number two in the slide deck so now people will be able to click on that and go to whatever slide is linked. In fact, I want to link that to slide number three. I was on slide two, I want to go to slide three. There we are. So now we'll click on that. That'll take people to slide three when they're looking at it in presentation mode, when the presentation is actually being played back. And now we're jumping there. And so you can just repeat that process over and over again to take your story in as many directions as you like. Now it's important to remember that throughout your story you do need a way to get people back to the beginning or back to a previous stage. So for example here I might say get back to our schedule for the day. Go in there and select add link slide and in this case I'm going to go to slide 2 which is the beginning of our slideshow. So now if this was being viewed, they can click and go back to the beginning. And again, repeat that process as many times as you like to create as many directions from each slide as you like. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.